Right then, um, this is an attempt to make a video capturing it with fraps and using NVIDIA Insight, uh, which is a kind of graphics debugging thing. Um, so who knows what will happen. This is Gratuitous Space Battles 2 uh, main menu, and this is probably only interesting if you're a programmer. Um, but this is like an overlay that you can sort of check out how your, how your game performs. Um, so this red block here is showing me that, that the uh, GPU isn't doing a lot. Um, the yellow here shows that the shade is busy, a little bit of textures, not really much effort in geometry. And um, th this sort of bar chart at the bottom here, this is showing me all the draw calls and how many primitives there are. And this is quite interesting because it shows that, that it's horribly wasteful and, and kind of bad. Because down here, that first bar there is two. So that's basically squares being drawn on their own, which is bad. You know, you, you shouldn't be doing that sort of thing. Um, although it's often very, very sort of hard to avoid. We want to be more kind of like up this end, drawing sort of fewer batches and bigger batches. But depending what you're doing, it, it can be quite difficult. Um, so this is just a menu screen, so you might sort of think, you know, well, kind of, who cares? Um, but it's quite a complicated one. You can probably see the asteroid spinning. There's a whole sort of, uh, sort of semi sort of 3D scene um, behind us that's also blurred as well. Uh, so what I'm going to try and do is take a screen capture of how this is done, this screen, and then kind of like show you how it's drawn, and then I'll do the same thing for other for other bits of the game which hopefully you might find interesting it might also crash horrendously because really we have no idea um, how all these systems will interact so what I should be able to do and we're not sure if fraps will follow me here is to do this and I think it has so this is that scene this is a screenshot basically um, so there you can see how complicated the scene is behind us and this thing at the bottom here this little green thing is called a frame scrubber and you can use that to see how your frame was drawn and to look at all information like up here you've got what textures were used um, might make that a bit bigger actually um, and you can do all kinds of crazy stuff but even if you're not a program it's kind of interesting to see how it's drawn so the frame obviously starts completely black and um, you know I've, I've drawn that background here come asteroids you'll see that it's kind of like highlighting what's being drawn in that draw call. The asteroids aren't all drawn at once for like complicated reasons to do with um, colouring. So one great big sprite there for that uh, background. Um, and you can see here we've got like the normal kind of, uh, I shouldn't call it normal because that's a normal map. <laughs> um, here you've got like the asteroid sort of colours and here's the, the information on, on sort of 3D-ness as it were. And both of those are used to draw um, the asteroids at this point. So we go through, we have loads of different draw calls there because they're all at different angles and we have to set shader parameters. So, but we're not drawing them one at a time, we're drawing them in sort of batches of 50 or 100 or something. So quite a bit of the frame is, is like setting that up. And now I've forgotten about that frame entirely and I go and seemingly draw a lot of black on black, um, which isn't actually, this is kind of like light map stuff. It won't make any sense, but I have to draw it all again. Um, in order to get some shadowing right and stuff like that. So we go through all of that, blah, 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 blah. And now I'm drawing it all again. You think this is horrendously inefficient, Cliff. Um, but actually it's for a reason. You'll notice that there's no shadowing on any of this at all. And that allows me to sort of like composite the scene together at the end and, and do some like crazy effects. You won't really tell in the main menu. Uh, so we'll skip for all of that. So most of it is drawing the asteroids, actually, frankly. Um, so then we have this, and this is a scene, but we don't take it like it is. We actually um, blur it and, and, and do various other stuff. You'll notice there I draw this big splat. You'll be thinking, what's that? That's a distortion effect that plays on the main menu, which you'll, you'll recognize just at the end of the scene. So here I'm doing lots of increasingly blurred versions of that scene which I'll then you know composite later so then we've got the, the kind of predictable stuff we've got these draw calls for the various elements of the user interface also very inefficient drawing of that grid I think 
Um, that's much more efficient. Look, loads of items being drawn in one draw. Cool, lovely. Um, blah, blah, blah. A few other bits and bobs. Uh, and then at the end... You probably can't tell because... But, but roughly here, here is where that distortion blob was. If you go back to the very start of the video, you'll be able to see what I mean as I kind of like move the cursor around. So basically if you want to see how a simple main menu is drawn it's basically drawn like that. Okay let's move on to other bits. Okay here we are at the uh, deployment screen for the game um, which you may or may not recognize. Um, one thing I should point out is that uh, when Fraps is running it's, it's kind of limiting it to, to 30 frames a second. It's not actually 30 frames a second. It's, it's much faster than that. Um, so this is a bit of a different scene and um, we don't have all these asteroids in the background. Um, and if you look down here you can see that um, we're doing a, a sort of very large number of very small draw calls. It doesn't really matter because this isn't a particularly sort of... Um, performance sensitive screen in any sense um, but I think it might be sort of vaguely interesting to just like frame scrub through that as well so I'm just going to do that before I do that um, if I go here and resist the temptation to sneeze I'm going to sneeze <coughs> okay I'm back um, <laughs> Uh, you can carry out loads of experiments with this stuff, which is kind of interesting. So, um, one of them is to basically turn off textures. So you can do that. Um, which is a good way to see if you're like texture bound. In other words, if like you're using too many textures and loading in too much stuff. Um, because if your frame rate jumps up when you do that, then that's a problem. Um, you can also uh, look at stuff wireframe, which is kind of, kind of wacky. So that's... Uh, that's the kind of wireframe view of, of everything. Um, okay, so let's do the, um, the the frame scrubber thing, which I think is space. It is. This is wonderful. Right, so there's the final scene. And, uh, you know, how's it drawn? Um, so again, we're sort of starting. We're drawing a background. Much more efficient drawing of a grid there, methinks. One draw call. Um, I should learn from myself. Uh, so if we sort of go through this, all of the, all of those get drawn individually, which is a potential optimization. But to be honest, the frame rate um, on on this screen is pretty good. See there, they've been drawn individually, which is kind of nuts. I should fix that. Um, but again, it doesn't matter. It's not a performance critical screen by any measure. Um, do wonder what is actually going on there. And look, I think I found a bug. I think I'm drawing them all again, aren't I? Look at that. Look at that. Found a bug in the in the frame debugger. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Um, draw all of these individual sprites. And draw all of this. Um, and again, look, they're being drawn individually. That could be, be optimised. If your engine is kind of, you know, not good at doing this sort of stuff, then you'll have to sort of go through and fix it all. Um, so... There we go. There's a lot of draw calls, especially at the end there with all these textures um, for the different modules. So, you know, at high speed, that's how that frame's drawn. But really, let's, you know, let's go on with the good stuff and take a look at how the battles are rendered. Okay, I just tried to capture um, a screenshot and frame scrub it from this battle, and there was a crash, which. Uh, God knows why. It's not actually the game. It's probably the capture stuff that's going wrong. Um, but here's a battle. There's there's a, a lot of stuff going on. You can see how like the the draw call stuff changes as you sort of zoom in, zoom out, depending how much nonsense we have to draw. Um, so let's take a look at a frame. Let's try and capture it at a decent sort of bang or something like that. Um, cruiser shields failing. No shit. Um, let's go with that. Oh, hang on. Got to toggle it into... Okay. Damn. Um, oh, let's just... Let's just go with that. Okay, that's good. I thought it was going to crash again. Okay, so... Um, here we go. Let's frame scrub this. It'll be fun. 
Um, so yeah, first of all we start off with the backdrop and then just like that main menu we've got loads of asteroids to draw. Also some debris, you'll notice that, that there's like there, that's that's a, a fin from a ship. <laughs> quite good fun um, because the debris is actually scattered throughout the asteroids it kind of moves in sort of 3d you can see here that you know I'm using um, I'm using that to kind of like draw a bit of, of sort of 3d model debris from all these dead fighters you see some big hulks of ships there um, but they don't actually look like that in the game do they and that's where all that compositing comes in this is just the kind of like the shaded version without light maps and without bloom so as I go through all this and you see things get drawn it's all quite dark um, and flat there's none of those ship lights there's no illumination um, and oh right and here we are this is this is the kind of like interesting bit this is my own personal depth map and I know people are gonna go oh why on earth are you doing it like this it's it's complex um, but um, I have to do this so I'm using um, sort of two bits of the RGB spectrum here which is why you've got this crazy color scheme this basically tells me what's in front of what because I draw uh, a load of particle effects and like fuzzy effects later and I need to know what's in front of what um, so I need to kind of like you'll never see this but I need to kind of store all this information not the asteroids in the far distance that it doesn't matter um, but I need I need to draw up all, all of this for every frame and again here's that that sort of uh, that weird thing earlier when I was just drawing black and you'll see here now I'm actually drawing light maps so it, uh, I love this look here that that's kind of like a ship just seen through the, the sort of prism of what lights are on it so everything has all these lights drawn um, and we've got the Sun in the background there um, laser beams and everything so we have to draw all of that and then we draw everything unlit where it all looks like that um, and again you're thinking you know make your mind up when you composite it all together you get this Ta -da! but that's actually not it but that's not the final scene that's not what, what it looks like um, because when I've drawn everything now I'm drawing um, you see there all of the uh, the contrails and stuff like that. I've got particle effects. And look, I'm drawing a particle effect and I'm referencing all of that multicolored nonsense from earlier. So here's all the smoke and stuff like that. I'm drawing smoke behind stuff. Wow. It's all kind of clever and intermixed and, and fucking hard work. Anyway, when we get towards the end, aha, you see, we bloom stuff. Um, so you have to do a lot of blurage. Um, and you can't just do a, a typical blur, you have to do it in a cunning way to make it fast. And then you take that blur and you composite it back. And you get that. You get the final result. Because um, now we started drawing gooey stuff, you'll notice. So, um, that's, how the, that's how the bloom stuff works. And now I'm drawing all that user interface stuff. I'm going back and forth so you can see what I'm changing. Um, and that's how you get a single frame of Gratuitous Space Battles 2. Let me just zip through it again because it's fun. I love this stuff. So here we go. Do 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 do. Talk amongst yourselves. Blah blah blah. <whistles> there we go. And we have to do that 60 times a second. It's bloody hard. Anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. You never see videos of this sort of stuff online. Um, and uh, for the 0.01% of the population that's interested in it, um, you know, I, I think it's fab. Um, anyway, there you go. Um, you can buy the game now, gratuitouspacebattles2.com, um, and it'll be on Steam next month. I hope you have enjoyed this.